we have four freezers in our house here and they are all packed full of stuff and we're desperate for the space uh, because we've got crops coming in and it's pointless having all that food sitting in the freezer if it's not going to be used up. So, uh, yesterday I took out of the freezer some game and we've got absolutely loads of game in the freezers uh, but this has now defrosted so we've got in here a couple of pheasants some pigeon breasts and a partridge no pear trees and what that's going to be used for is to make some game soup so we've got the pheasant and the partridge in the pan topped up with water the redness is from the blood which we simply tipped into the pan uh, to make sure it wasn't wasted and in this bowl we have the kitchen breast they will be cooked in the soup not beforehand uh, because this lot here it are uh, going to be boiled up because that is the way to get the meat off the bones the pan's now come up to the boil so I've turned it down I'm just going to let this simmer for about an hour and a half Right, we left the carcasses to stand overnight in the liquid in which they were cooked and uh, we've now stripped the, the carcasses of the meat. That's far too much for what we're after, so we're only going to use about half of that for this soup. And the rest we will probably freeze, sadly, because I'm <laughs> wanting to avoid doing that, but we'll freeze it for a few days and then use it in a curry, which we'll make probably at the end of this week. Now, we need uh, the stock, and the basis of the stock is actually the liquid that we boiled up the, uh, the birds in. And we also have, this is some venison stock in here that we made about three years ago and has been sitting in our freezer ever since. So this is going to go into the stock in the pan and we're also going to add in three chopped potatoes now the potatoes were actually still in the ground as of two days ago and uh, so it's, they've come up uh, very recently and uh, the onions three smallish to medium sized onions chopped put that on in as well and the final final ingredient at this point now is this it's actually just we're going to put in a sort of uh, a pudding spoonful of this it's a fruit jelly and it, the reason why is because I always like game to have a slightly fresh edge to it so anyway that lot goes into the pan and then we'll bring it up to the boil As you can see, it's now come up to the boil, so we're going to leave it to simmer for about half an hour to 40 minutes. Because we had way more meat than we expected from the two pheasants and the partridge, then we decided not to add in the pigeon meat, so that will go into the curry later this week as well. The soup has been simmering for about 40 minutes now, and I've tested the flavour, and uh, I decided just to add a little bit of marmite to it. Uh, just to give it a bit more of a kick and we're now going to blend it so time to use my secret weapon <laughs> jelly in made any difference at all um, but it tastes fine anyway so uh, oh from there I've got a bit of a cold at the minute then this is going to be quite filling and quite warming <laughs> 